Hi everyone and welcome to another video by BioTeach, this time focusing on B-cell action, otherwise known as humoral immunity. This video is relevant for A-level biology for the AQA board, but may also be useful for B-tech units which focus on immunity. So the humoral immune response is associated with the serum or the plasma and involves the action of antibodies secreted by B-cell lymphocytes. We will address antibodies in another short video after this one, but for now I just want to explain exactly how B-cells work. There are many different types of B-cell and each B-cell starts to produce a specific antibody that responds to a specific antigen. There will be a B-cell in the blood which has an antibody on its surface whose shape is complementary. Millions of B-cells will form during development. Antigen recognition is randomly generated so collectively they can recognise many antigens including those that have never been encountered. Each B cell has receptors on its surface for specific antigens and produces antibodies that co correspond to these receptors. I also want to mention that it's important to know that helper T cells actually recognize specific antigens on B cell surfaces and induce B cell maturation and proliferation. A mature B cell may carry as many as 100,000 antigenic receptors embedded in its surface membrane. The B cells defend against bacteria and viruses outside the cell and toxins produced by bacteria. So this is an example of how B cells would mount an immune system response. Here we have an example of different types of B cells, all represented by a different colour. Each of these can recognise only one specific antigen. The last B cell, the one that's grey, will encounter an antigen and then it binds to it. It is then stimulated to proliferate. Essentially, this means that it produces many clones through mitosis. This means that each of the clones will produce the same kind of antibody, and this is known as clonal selection, because the antigen selects the B cells that will proliferate. So some of the B cells will differentiate into cells known as plasma cells, as you can see on your screen now, and I'll talk about those in a bit more detail in a second. Some of them, though, will differentiate into what we call memory cells. These are long-lived. These are retained in the lymph nodes to provide future immunity, or we can call that immunological memory. In the event of a second infection by the same antigen, memory B cells will react more quickly and vigorously than the initial B cell reaction to the first infection. The plasma cells that have been created will secrete antibodies specific to the antigen that stimulated their development. Each plasma cell will only live for a few days, but can produce around 2,000 antibody molecules per second. I should also add that during development, any B cells that react to the body's own antigens are selectively destroyed in a process that leads to self-tolerance or the acceptance of our own body's tissues. Failure to do this will lead to diseases where our bodies fight its own tissues as it thinks that those are foreign. You'll find this part of the video super useful as this is what you need to be able to write in an exam for questions relating to this topic. So key terms such as B cells with the antibody complementary to the antigen will bind and present it on its surface membrane. Another video covers how T cells will activate B cells, so there's a link above if you've missed that video. You should definitely go and watch it to help put humoral immunity alongside cell-mediated immunity because both of those will work hand in hand. You should also mention that activated B cells divide by mitosis to form plasma cells and plasma cells will secrete antibodies. And lastly, you need to say that the antibodies will bind to the antigens to stop the disease or the infection. I would probably advise you to pause the video now and write these notes down so that you've got them as part of your revision notes. I think it's probably quite useful for you to try some exam questions, so I've included a couple of examples on my video. The first one here is worth four marks, and it asks you to describe how lymphocytes respond when they're stimulated by antigens. Pause the video now to give this question a go. Okay, so for four marks, you need to be able to make four key points. We know that the B cell has already been stimulated, so we can talk about how they divide by mitosis or that they form clones. The next point is to say that plasma cells are formed, which then make antibodies. You should also say that plasma cells will produce memory cells, which stay in the bloodstream for longer periods of time. The next question here is also for four marks. It says an antigen leads to the production of antibodies, and you have to describe the part played by B cells in this process. Pause the video now to give this question a go. 
There are many possible points that you could make for this question. I would probably start off by saying that the macrophages will present antigens to B cells and the antigen will bind to the B cell if it is complementary. The lymphocytes at this point become activated once the binding has taken place and therefore proliferation takes place through clonal selection. You should also mention that they divide by mitosis or that proliferation takes place through mitosis. And finally, you should talk about how plasma cells will secrete antibodies, because that's essentially what the question is about. So I hope that was super useful for you to understand the process of humoral immunity. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them under this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out my channel for similar content. I'll post the videos on antibodies very, very soon. Bye for now.